Hey everyone, Tesla Ariel here. I am outside my office. I'm parked in the car and as I just wanted to give an update on the airbag light that came on. The airbag light came on around three days ago for the first time, two days ago maybe, um, when we were on our way home from Lake Louise, Alberta on the road trip. What I wanted to do is see if it can be corrected by an over-the-air update. What I wanted to do is see if it can be corrected through an over-the-air update. So what I'm going to do now is call Tesla Roadside Assistance and see how they do and if they are able to um, do something so that it won't come back. Click on the phone icon and it should sh give us the phone. Okay, so now uh, I'll look for Tesla Roadside Assistance. Let's give them a call and, oh, it's saved. Tesla Assistance. Thank you for calling Tesla Customer Support. For roadside assistance of your vehicle, press 1. For additional support options, please press 2 or remain on the line. For assistance with your vehicle functions such as supercharging, Bluetooth, and autopilot, press 1. Transfer of ownership, help with your My Tesla account or other account related questions, no, press that. 2. To speak with a representative from a local service center, press 30. For assistance with Tesla energy products, press 4. Let me try 3, if this is the right one. For assistance with your vehicle functions such as supercharging, Bluetooth, and autopilot, press 1. Hmm. Transfer of ownership, help with your My Tesla account or other account related questions, press 2. I just went back. To speak with a representative. Let's press 1. Contacting Tesla Tech Support. This is Amif here. May I have your first and last name? Hi, my name is Ariel Arevalo. Hi, Ariel. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And how can I help you? Yeah, I um, just wanted to um, ask about the um, airbag light on my car. Um, it comes on, it came on earlier, but it um, goes off and then comes back on again. So I just wanted to oh. see if it's something that can be done through an over the air update or a reset or something. Yeah, uh, let me first of all pull up the account. Can you give me the uh, last six of the VIN number? And uh, when this happened? This way? If I'm not mistaken, it should be around, it was around two days ago when I first noticed it. Um, right now the light is off, but um, this um, just goes off and then it turns back on later on during the day while I'm driving. Okay, uh, do you see, <clears throat> can you check the bars and the signal bar on your touch screen? See how many signals do you see there? What do you mean, um, signals? Oh, the LTE signal. Yeah. Um, I have two bars. Okay. But I can connect to a Wi-Fi if you need me, if it's if you prefer me to connect to a Wi-Fi. I'm parked outside um, my office. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, what, uh, are you driving right now or parked? I'm parked right outside my okay. office. Yeah. Okay. You can you can try uh, one thing. Can you just reboot the test screen by pressing two scrolling buttons on the steering wheel? Okay. Press, pre press and hold those two together for like 20 seconds until the test screen turns off and then it comes back. Then you, there there are two rolling but scrolling buttons on the test, uh, on the uh, steering wheel. Okay. You see those? The, the two volume and the buttons. other one. Okay. Um, actually, you're on the Bluetooth of my car, so I might dis I might um, uh, get disconnected. Can you turn off your Bluetooth uh, from your phone first? Yeah, so, so we can talk on the phone. I'll put you on um, speaker so I, I can... Okay. Yeah. Hello, do you still hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So now you're on speaker. Let me just press the, the two scroll buttons, right? Okay, so just press and hold the two scroll buttons. Yeah. Okay. Now it is off. Keep holding it. Yep, okay, so continue to hold. 
I'm holding it still. Oh, uh, did it came back? Um, yes, it did. I see a letter T icon, the Tesla logo. Oh, okay, now leave, leave the button. Just release it. Okay. Okay, it says Bluetooth initializing now. Yeah. And now, now you can try one thing more. Uh huh. What what is what should I try? Yeah, on the touch screen, uh, there's a controls option. Uh -huh. see yes, I see click, the controls option. Up. Okay. Yeah, and you should be parked. Uh, hopefully, yes. Uh, yes, I'm parked. Yeah. When clicking, when you click on controls, there's the E brake and power off. Uh huh. Click that. Okay, so click power off. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have to power off the whole system. Okay, so I'll power off. Yeah, you had a two, three times you had a software update which been, which has been failed for some reason, uh, and I think that could be the reason too that you're getting this alert or false lights. So uh, make sure you're when you're home you're connected to the Wi-Fi, uh -huh. uh, or uh, normally check your uh, your signal bar, the LTE. Okay. So as far as you have that, but it, Anytime software update comes to the car, it will run through the car and it will update it. So that will resolve a lot of these uh, false issues. Okay. Okay. Alerts. Yeah. So I always connect it to my Wi-Fi at home. So. Um, yeah. Um. I don't know. For some reason, just a few months, two months back, or three months back, it's been failed three times. Oh. Okay. Um. I just got yeah. the car one month ago. What was that? I only got the car one month ago. December 9 was our delivery date. Okay, so maybe during the time when it was under uh, dealership, it was failed for some reason. Okay. Yeah, but it's okay. It will come back. It will come again. You'll get it. Hopefully soon this week, next week, anytime. Okay, so yeah. um, this is nothing to worry about. Um, just wait for the update to download on the car, That's and that's it. Uh -huh. Um, yes, it's off. Um, I okay. don't see anything Can on my you screen. Press the brake pedal? Okay, press Turn the brake off. pedal. Yeah, so now it's turned on. Yeah. Uh, you can check, okay, you can just keep your eyes on the, on that light. Or uh, uh, if, if you get it again, if you saw that light once again, uh, definitely give us a call. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's due to the software of, uh, version because it's still the older one. Not an older version, but it's not the updated one. Could you force the update on the car right now? Um, I'm not going to be using it for maybe uh, three hours or so. No, unfortunately it's not like something that I can press it from here. Okay. Actually, it is scheduling automatically, so hopefully you will get it soon. Okay. That is yeah. very good to know. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Anything else I can help you with? Um, that should be everything. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, sir. You have a wonderful day, okay? Thank Take you. Care. You too. Bye. Okay. So that was my conversation with um, the representative from the roadside assistance. What he told me was it was a software update. Um, he made me do a reset of my system. And um, it said he told me my software wasn't updating properly. So it gave us this um, false alert. So there. There you have it. So um, I will observe this and see if the airbag light comes back on. Okay, thank you very much. This is Tesla Ariel, signing off.